Welcome back to Hoyam Outdoors. What time is it, Jace? 9.30? 9.18 p.m. on a Friday night. Jace came to town to help us with the little project we got going here. We're doing the POS tonight. A little over three years ago, we put this bass deck up in the front. It had a bench like that right here, and then a littler bench way at the front, but we decided to put a bass deck in here, and a little hatch for storage. And we just took the seat pillar out. There is a seat that goes up here. So what our plan is, we just spent a lot of money at Menards. So we're gonna re-carpet that. We're gonna leave this front deck the same. You gotta show them back up a little bit. We're gonna re-carpet this because it's all stained. And if we put a different type of carpet on the rest of the boat, it's not gonna match, obviously. So our plan for this is we're gonna drop it down about a half an inch here. Go the whole thing this way, carpet it, frame it out, and then put another hatch in the middle, kind of like that one. Put another seat pillar here. We don't have that yet. Runnings didn't have any of the seat pillars that we wanted in stock, so we have to order one. That'll come in a week or so. And in the back here, we're not too sure on what we're going to do yet. Um, for sure, we're going to... Lucas, you got to stop putting the camera right in my face. Why don't you explain it then? So Gary had the idea of doing the whole works like we're going to do here, back here. No, that's not going to work. It's going to be too much weight. And how would you like sitting like this, one leg way up here while fishing? I wouldn't mind. Then you'd be too high up. So what I was thinking is if a guy split it in half, run it right to the seat here, Guy could have his foot hanging in the deep part here, and then you could have a big hatch right here for tackle boxes, all other kinds of storage, whatever you need to put in there. So yeah. So yeah, we got lots of wood and carpet and tools and screws. And this is gonna get done tonight. Not much time to do it. No, We're gonna try to get it all all done tonight so we can go fishing in the morning. But we got the GoPro up there for a time lapse for you guys and I'll, I'll be wearing my GoPro on my head I'll be explaining how we're doing I'm not a professional by any means I'm not even a, a beginner I, I just suck at this kind of stuff but I like doing it so I'll explain what we're doing why we're doing it and we got three guys hopefully you guys enjoy big guns this video we're gonna get her done stay tuned Good, doesn't it? You got it. See if he's gonna even bite it. Hold that him. side there, Chase. Four. Drill. Dale! Power tools. Dale, no power tools!
this is definitely taking a little bit longer than we thought it was going to. We got the front off. <laughs> We're just about done. You didn't know that? Carpeting it. We got the back 90% framed up here. I got to run two cross pillars to match the same size as this. We're going to have the same size storage unit on this side and then we're going to plywood this whole works and then there'll be another seat pillar on top of the carpet here and I guess that'll, we're kind of on the side of back here yet but that'll probably be tomorrow morning it's already 11 o'clock and we haven't even cut plywood yet so and this saw is going to be going in the garbage so in there yep. forget to wrap the carpet around Around the inside? Yep. You are dumb. You get to redo the whole work. Staple it on this. This is time for bed. It's not even close to bedtime here. How does a guy figure out the size of the square he needs to cut out? when you can't see through the plywood to trace it. This here device is some math magic. It is 12.30 and I'm tired. You gotta point the camera there at the right direction. So, Louie's got an update for you. I do? Yeah. We got some progress done here. I got this done. Louis wrapping the front deck for the third time. <laughs> I got her wrapped, but it looks like absolute dog because I missed a crucial step. So we're gonna rewrap it, which is gonna be nice. Again. We're gonna wrap over this, not rewrap it, because this is thinner carpet than the last, and there's some gaps along here when we put it in, as well as along the door. It doesn't really fit in there anymore. So rewrapping the door right now. And then we're going to wrap this piece and that piece together so there's no seams here. And then we're going to work on that deck before we for it tonight. Because this all should be done in approximately 12 minutes. Yes, sir. Stay tuned. Because I let go. Oh. I'm gonna go under that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is it? Push her down, Jace. Just about halfway down. <laughs> we gotta wrap that hatch lid yet, and then we gotta build the back and this sliver. It's almost 2 a.m. 5500 OBO if you guys are interested. That one? Yep. Mm -hmm. Look at how perfect the European mount is on there. 14 a.m. <laughs> we are about three quarters of the way down with the project for the night here. So, about right here, forward, it was all there already. We re-carpeted it. One sheet all the way back to here. We couldn't go to here like we wanted. We gotta cut another piece of plywood to go here, and then we're gonna put a bench with storage over there for half of this, and then drop a floor pretty low down right here for the person that drives about to stand on. So, we gotta get to bed. It's like I just showed you after 2 a.m. already. We got barely enough carpet left. We got plenty of plywood and forgot to tell you guys, we framed everything with two by threes instead of two by fours to save a little bit of weight. Everything's pressure treated. All the screws are galvanized or stainless. 
so she won't rust. But yeah. And the hinges. And the hinges. So we got a pedestal there. We're gonna put another one. It's gonna be centered like right here on top of this rail when we get the plywood and carpet up. Show so them. We can have three Let's different chairs in here instead of two. Let's show you guys how tight fitting this stuff is, Jace. You gotta get out of the way here. Watertight. Good and tight. So yeah. Oh, 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 it is you know, as if you guys don't think we can walk on it. Three quarter inch plywood, a little overkill, but. Do you guys know anybody else that made a door you can walk on? We still gotta figure out where the water's coming in and seal that up, so. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys are interested, she's going up for sale pretty quick here. 5,500, her best offer. Without the motor and. The battery. The battery. Shut up and cut doors for that. So yeah, we're gonna get some sleep here. We're gonna get up probably about 4 a.m. and start working on it again. <laughs> we gotta get the thing finished and then we'll go out tomorrow night for the maiden voyage. See how she rides. Yep, stay tuned. Um, we'll maybe do a bunch of fast forwarding clips for this video and make it short enough to even put in a segment of big walleyes tomorrow. So. Nope, this is gonna be its own video though. What do you got there, Gary? The last piece of the puzzle, Lou. I mean, in your hand there. Skill saw I just paid 25 bucks for. Some guy in right. town. This thing's junk. If you guys find one of these, come across one of these, and you're thinking, oh, God, that's pretty cheap, let's do that. Don't do that. We got her framed. It's gonna be good. Put the seat out, we'll go over top of that and then mount the seat up on top of it. I apologize, we got the fan going here. It was 92 degrees in here, so. so yeah, those are the last two pieces. Gonna get them caught, see if they fit in here, and then wrap them with carpet, put them in here, cut the door out. So probably another hour of work yet. I'm gonna make you go fishing. Nice rig. Hey there. We're done for now. Let's stand over here. It looked really weird in the sun. It's like five o'clock on Saturday. We started this project last night. We got probably six or eight hours into it. Three guys working on it. So as you can see, we got two hatches in the front. Do the honors, Jace. Slamming. That's a lot of money there. And we haven't finished this one yet. We're gonna put some sort of a wall and a floor in here but we ran out of carpet because Lucas doesn't like to measure twice cut once he likes to cut six times so we're all out of carpet so we're gonna put probably the battery and stuff expensive stuff in there since everything's kind of back here anyway get the battery out of the back so it's out of the elements so framed everything with two by threes like I already said earlier three quarter inch plywood across the board we probably added 250 pounds to the boat, so not ideal. Need a bigger motor. We did a few other things too. We put this chair on top of this piece here, so it's raised. Uh, and then uh, took the liberty of fixing this chair that was hosed. Put a piece of plywood under there. So now when you sit back on it, it doesn't fold up. So if any of you guys have a 25 horsepower outboard motor for sale, I don't care if it's two stroke or four stroke. Send, send me some DMs at Hoya Mount Doors on Instagram. We're looking for a motor. This little 15 ain't gonna go very quick anymore with all this weight in the boat. So, where to go out fishing? 
will be another video you guys will see in the future. Unless we don't catch any, then you guys won't see a video. But we're gonna. If, well, if we'll put a little call. fishing clip in this video that you guys are watching. I I hope that you guys enjoyed the little instruction process. We suck at it, but it's fun. It came along. We didn't have any ER trips, Gary. There was a lot of swear words thrown at each other, and some tears, some a lot of blood, but we yep. got her done. Yeah. Yep. So. Oh, oh. Ouch. Oh. So we'll see you guys at the lake when we test it and see if the boat still floats. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned.